Let's talk about the difference between a rock and a mineral. And remember, minerals make up rocks, but rocks don't make up minerals. A mineral has five characteristics. They are naturally occurring, solid, inorganic, have a crystalline structure, and also the same chemical composition throughout. Naturally occurring means it is formed naturally by the earth. For example, deposits of the mineral halite or table salt formed over millions of years when ancient seas slowly evaporated. And the mineral quartz forms when magma cools. A solid has a definite volume and shape. It will not take the shape of the container that it's placed into. An inorganic compound is typically a chemical compound that lacks carbon and hydrogen bonds. Examples of inorganic compounds include salt and water. A crystalline structure could be described as repeating. The crystal shape is determined by the arrangement of the atoms or molecules within the crystal. Each mineral has a definite crystal structure. All minerals can be grouped into crystal classes according to the kinds of crystals they form. And minerals have the same chemical composition throughout. The smallest group of particles in the material that constitutes this repeating pattern is called the unit cell. The unit cell completely reflects the symmetry and structure of the entire crystal, which is built up by repetitive translation of the unit. Again, remember, minerals make up rocks, but rocks do not make up minerals. Okay, rocks are usually made up of various types of either organic material or minerals held together in one solid form. They can be large or small. Rocks do not always have a repeating arrangement of atoms like minerals do. There are three main types of rocks. Igneous rocks are created from molten rock. In fact, the name is derived from the Greek word meaning fire. Igneous rocks may form from magma, which is found inside the earth, and cools slowly, or lava, which is molten rock on the surface of the earth, and cools more quickly. Metamorphic rocks are created when extreme heat and pressure changes the original structure into a new type of rock. Sedimentary rock, igneous rocks, and even metamorphic rocks can all become new metamorphic rock when exposed to heat and pressure. There are two major types of metamorphic rocks, foliated rocks, which have layered bands, and non-foliated rocks, which would do not have these layers or bands. And sedimentary rocks are formed from pre-existing rocks or pieces of once living organisms. They form from deposits that accumulate on the Earth's surface or under the ocean. The particles that form a sedimentary rock are called the sediment and can be composed of minerals or organic material. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.